Ivan Garcia writes, greetings and salutations, guys. Since my fave Star Wars character is Obi-Wan, do you guys think we'll see Kenobi in the upcoming Star Wars movie? Thanks and keep up the great, filthy job. Well, I mean, <laughs> you're presented with a little bit of a problem, right, when you're talking about Obi-Wan. Um, because Obi-Wan, yeah, absolutely one of the greatest characters in sci-fi history. He's magnificent, he's wonderful, and we know that we have force ghosts and because we see them at the end of all the movies and all that kind of stuff, all really, really good. Here's the problem. It's with continuity. In the first original Star Wars trilogy, which I still contend is the only true original Star Wars trilogy, um, we already see the force ghost of Obi-Wan, and it isn't Ewan McGregor. It's Sir Alec Guinness. So there would be a continuity problem, I believe. Granted, I'm, I'm nitpicking, yes, yes. But to go into Star Wars Episode Seven and say, now Obi-Wan's Force Ghost got a little bit of nip-tuck done, got the face pulled up and lifted a bit, and now he looks like Ewan McGregor again. I think that's a little bit of an inconsistency. So, I, well, part of me would geek out to say, yay, Obi-Wan is there. It's really not that important. He played his role in the saga. There would be continuity problems. I hope we don't, and I don't think we will. So anyway, that's just me. Amir, what do you think? I'm so torn on this issue because on one hand, sure, continuity is important to me, but on the other hand, Obi-Wan is one of the best characters ever. So I'm really torn. I think that I would probably forgive the certain liberties they took if they brought him back because, you know, many of us don't really credit the prequels as being a part of the saga we love so much. So I'm kind of split. If he wasn't there, I'd be like, okay, we're holding true. This is going to be a tight story, you know, with a lot of consistency. But if they bring him back, I'm not going to say I'm not going to be smiling and pretty happy. Sure. Uh, I only want to see him back in, like, some kind of weird musical on ice, Jedi's on <laughs> ice, with all of the dead Jedi's all ghosty on ice skates. Because... <clears throat> if you bring Obi Wan back, you got to bring Yoda back, and you got to bring Anakin back. Is that a bad thing? I think it's a bad thing. I think yeah. it's about moving on, and like Force ghosts are done. You know, how long do they float around? And well, we're still hanging out. Oh, uh, it's thirty years later. Go do some Force stuff. You know, <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's a good move. I think it's like they kind of cemented that at the end, the sixth, you know, re Return of the Jedi, where they're all hanging out with Ewoks, and they're like. You know, eating, drinking, force ghost dr mead or whatever they're drinking. You know, <laughs> that's it. You know, I think now we're on to some new Star Wars. I don't, if anything, they're going to bring Yoda back as a ghost. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think, and you know, honestly, if they bring Obi Wan back, they could do Ewan McGregor in an Alec Guinness kind of, you know, makeup. But I just think, why? Yeah, that'd be weird. Why just would they do it? Yeah. yeah. Dennis? Yeah, I don't want to see it. I, I, for the same reasons you're talking about continuity, it doesn't fit into to how they showed. Unless Alec, you know, if Alec Guinness was still alive and they wanted to bring him back, then maybe sure that would into be the in, into the movie. And, and also, this is not, you know, Obi Wan was Luke's mentor, and this, from what we think is going to happen in these new this new trilogy, it's going to be a whole new set. Yes, we're going to have Luke, Leia, and Han, but it's going to be a new set of characters as the main characters. Yeah, and I think having someone else come in as a mentor is better. All right, isn't that exciting? This slate, this brand new slate that we have no idea where they're gonna go with this galaxy. It's so exciting. I find it irritating. No, All right. John, no. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.